What's going on, y'all, man? So in today's video, I want to talk about this goofy reaction that I seen online. This weird reaction. This <laughs> can't be serious type of reaction that I seen online of people criticizing Houston rapper Bun B for testifying in court. Bun B and his wife Queenie was a victim of a home invasion, right? Was a victim of a home invasion and Bun B defended his home with a gun and shot the person who invaded his home. So let me give you guys background, right? Because you may not even know who Bun B is. Bun B is a legendary rapper coming out of Houston, one half of the group UGK, right? Recipes Pimp C. Um, two of the biggest songs that Bun B was featured on was their song, International's Play Anthem featuring Outkast, which is still uh, a staple to this day, like as a banger. TZ is ABC, simple as one, two, three. Get down with UGK, B, U, N, B. And of course, uh, being featured on Jay Z's Big Pimpin', where Bun B said this legendary line right here. Read a book, you literate, son of a bitch, step up your vocab. Bun B, been in the rap game for a long time been a part of the rap game for a long time was a victim of a home invasion right i don't think this person targeted bun b from the news clip that i seen as a matter of fact let me share the news clip of what happened back in 2019 so you guys get to understand it what happened Check this out. A lot of people talking about this one tonight. Bun B fends off a home invader. The Houston rapper shot the would-be thief, protecting his home and his wife. Andy Sirota live in Bun B's southwest Houston neighborhood with the confrontation that led to an exchange in gunfire. Andy? And thankfully, Bun B and his wife, Queenie, weren't physically hurt, but tonight they are certainly dealing with the trauma of it all. Houston rapper Bun B, whose real name is Bernard Freeman, and his wife Queenie were victims of a home invasion until the rapper pulled a gun to defend his wife and his home. Bun B was upstairs, his wife Queenie downstairs in the kitchen when she heard the doorbell ring and immediately answered it, thinking an Amazon package was being delivered. When she opened the door, a masked man, later identified as DeMonte Jackson, pointed a gun at her head, forced his way inside, and according to prosecutors said, give me what you got. She was originally afraid that he was there to cause harm to her husband. It turns out that he was just randomly trying to get into homes, according to the security guard on property. She offered him the keys to her car. During this commotion, uh, Bun Bernard Freeman heard her screaming, uh, armed himself and ran to engage the home invader. In the garage, police say Bun B opened fire on Jackson. Jackson returned fire and got away. As he ran off, prosecutors say Bun B tried stopping him and shouted, take off your mask. Jackson showed up later at Pearland Medical Center with a gunshot wound to his left shoulder. You have a right in Texas to defend both your wife and your home, and that's what Bun did. And Bun B later identified Jackson in a photo spread. Jackson facing several several criminal charges tonight, including two counts of aggravated robbery. Live in Southwest Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. So as you can see, this man came to Bun B's home, acted as if he was an Amazon driver, forced his way into the home, put a gun to Bun B's wife's head, put a gun to her head, and trying to steal a car, right? Bun B heard his wife's reaction, came to her defense with his gun and had a shootout with this young man and shot the man and the man drove off. And Bun B, at the, and from what I understand from the news clip, Bun B and his wife um, picked the guy out, out of a lineup and said that was the guy who did it, right? So fast forward, because it happened in 2019, Bun B and his wife now is testifying at this man's trial and is sentencing. So Bun B testifying went viral. People were sharing it. People was um, re reacting to it, responding to it. And there's a group of people, a group of goofballs, a group of weirdos who were saying that Bun B was a snitch. Bun B should not have taken a stand. Bun B supposed to be a quote unquote street nigga. That's who I want to talk about in this video. But before we get into that, man, 
Here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you're into that kind of content, you have that kind of mindset, please join the movement. And by joining the movement, you can subscribe to my YouTube. You can support me on Patreon. You can follow my new Rumble. I'll put a link in the description to my new Rumble. Or you can find me on Instagram and threads. I'm trying to build an online community of like-minded people who want to break away from toxic traditions. Also, in the pinned comments, I'll leave a link to my website. And on that link, you can sign up for my newsletter. And on my newsletter, I could directly contact you guys when I do live streams, giveaways, and when I post content. Appreciate you guys. All right. So let's play the clip of Bun B in court testifying against this young man who came in and put a gun to his wife's head. Check this out. They communicate, and I just get, I get so angry all again because she didn't deserve it. She didn't ask for this. She didn't ask for this. Uh, the next morning, um, she got out of bed and went down to the kitchen, and I heard a scream. And I went down to see what was wrong, and she had her back turned. <clears throat> and she was crying, and I was like, what's wrong, what's, what's wrong? She was like, I can't, I can't. She was just shaking um, furiously, I can't, I can't. And I was like, well, you can't. She was like, I can't believe those stairs. And it was from that point where we realized, like, she couldn't even be in that house anymore. As you can see, Bun B is very emotional, and rightfully so. You know, being married, being happily married, man, to have somebody do something like that to my wife, <laughs> I, I'll be real, man. That young man is lucky to be sitting in that courtroom because I don't know, just my family's my prized possession. And I'm not, I don't know, I don't take it lightly. I don't take something like that lightly, but. People are reacting to Bun B saying all these types of things. Let me pull up some of these tweets that was coming across the airwaves, right? All right, so this person right here said, this is definitely snitching. If you're a victim of a crime, you handle it yourself with get back or accept it. Helping the police is snitching. Like I said, we're talking about breaking away from toxic traditions. And this right here is a toxic mindset. This right here, Bun B testifying? Say it ain't so, surprise face. Another one, when you a fake gangster. Now, I'm gonna say this, man. Am I in the streets? No, I'm not. But I am adjacent to people that were in the streets, right? And I'm also cool with people that's in law enforcement. So I know both sides of the, the coin. When I say most of these quote unquote gangsters that you see in the street, especially older ones, that's in my age group. When I say, I'll give you a generous ballpark, 85% snitching, 85% of a snitching. And that's me being generous 85% of them are snitching and singing 85% easily. Talking to people in law enforcement, like, nah, they be, they be snitch. They snitch. Knowing people that were in the streets, that's not out the streets. When I say they snitch, when I say snitching is commonplace in the streets, I mean, we need to bring back first 48. These dudes would snitch on somebody that, and that, now when I say snitch, I mean people that's in the streets doing dirt alongside these people just to get themselves out of trouble. They would snitch for a number four for McDonald's. It's crazy. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not in the streets, but I'm, like I said, in the streets adjacent. And people who are in the streets tell me, Ever we need to do something, do not get nobody else involved. The, the street code is not what you think it is. These dudes snitch like it's no tomorrow. And y'all putting Bun B, a man who protected his wife and home, 
in the same category as that. He's not in the streets. Y'all don't even understand snitch culture or street culture to understand the dynamics between the snitch and somebody who's a citizen that's testifying. Snitches are people who are in the street who will rat somebody out to make sure they could cover their own ass and they could go back outside. That's what a snitch is. A man defending his home is not a snitch. And before I did this video, right, because I'm thinking that this is the young, younger generation that had this mindset. I had to call my son. Shout out to my son, Jamari Cash Out. Actually, his YouTube is blowing up. If you guys are into hip hop and streaming. I'll put a link in the description for Jamari Cash Out, right? So you guys can check that out. So I called my son. I said, yo, have you heard the story? He said, no. Broke the story down. And I told him how people are saying that he's a fake gangster and a snitch. It was a delightful reaction when he was confused by people calling this man a snitch. He didn't understand the dynamics of they calling him a snitch for protecting his wife at home. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, I don't get it. He didn't understand that. And I would say also is delightful knowing that his friend group, you know, they, they on the same type of time. It's not a younger generation thing who thinks like this. What it is, is a goofball society who think like this, a, a, a group of people who are not really on that type of time of the mindset of growing and becoming better thinks like this, because this right here is crazy. Saying Bum B saying ain't so. What? This man, literally, his, this man's wife had a gun to her head. And now she's so traumatized, she don't feel comfortable in that home no more. This is a goofball society. These are goofballs. And this is like, when you see people like this, these are the people that you need to break away from. Knowing good and well, they have no good intentions. Or knowing good and well, they don't have the, the mindset to understand the difference between quote unquote snitching and a uh, citizen testifying. These are crash dummies. These are crash dummies. The young man who did this crime, another crash dummy. I seen his father talk about it, saying that it's my fault. I didn't discipline him enough. He was an outstanding football player, but he had an 80 IQ and he had everything he wanted. From what I understand, <laughs> I'm gonna close on this. From what I understand, the father was saying that this young man had everything. He had two cars and a motorcycle and he's still out there trying to do a home invasion. That's another story for another day, man. But let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments, man. And also, if you like this kind of content, please consider hit subscribe. I'm on the grind to get 10K subscribers. That's my new milestone that I want to go to. And if you guys like this kind of content, you want to support, hit subscribe. Definitely appreciate that. All right, man. Till next time, peace. Real Rap Ryan is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe and check out this other video YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it, YouTube did, and YouTube do not lie. All right, peace.